Welcome back to Dream Home Decorator. Today, we're gonna be getting back to the gameplay because last episode was like literally all building. So we're gonna, well, I mean, they'll be building again anyway. We're always doing Dream Home decorations. And speaking of building, we're gonna do some building right now. Not much though. Uh, so there was a lot of comments and ideas about what we could do with the basement. Uh, one of them was that we could turn these into smaller little window wells, which I think makes a lot of sense. So maybe about halfway. I don't want to go too high up because if we were to have, like, if, I mean, if we were to have, you know, bedrooms down here, we would want a fire escape. Uh, so we wouldn't want it to be too high. I mean, we, we, we try to do a little bit of realism in these builds, not a whole lot, but a little bit. So anyway, I think about halfway because that lets us get a window of this kind of size. Hmm. I was hoping that these would fit in, to be honest. <laughs> what about these? Well, these ones fit in. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I, I think that's a good start. Oh, mosquito. Mm, maybe it should be a little lower. Like we could do these ones, that's a bit small. Okay, maybe one lower than that. And then we could even do, check this out, a ladder. Look at that, that now that's a fire escape. Obviously the Sims can't actually use that, but I don't know, it's kind of cool, isn't it? It's a nice little detail to have anyway. Uh, yeah, and the other thing was I should probably paint these uh, colors that kind of make sense, not colors, but uh, textures that sort of make sense. Like maybe they should be brick for like a retaining wall kind of thing. Or I think the other suggestion was potentially like a uh, sort of cobblestone. So it could be something like this. I mean, just depending on what we want to do with this build, I think maybe the cobblestone kind of makes sense. The age of this house. And then we could keep that on the house or... Or we could go, I think maybe all just, it could just all be stone or maybe it should be like, the, it should probably be whatever the foundation is, to be honest. So maybe we do this for so the exterior of the house down here. Uh, whoops. I'm just going to paint all these little window wells with the, this sort of foundation texture. And then we'll do the exterior walls with this sort of cobblestone as like, that's like the retaining wall, you know? I think that makes sense. So I'm going to use these just to measure the sort of height of the window uh, or height of the window well. Okay, so I think it's about four up. So one, two, three, four. And then that should be the those guys there. So now we have these windows that are a little, you know, not as deep as before. Um, we have a fire escape on this one. So this one could potentially be bedroom area. Or maybe I should probably do it on one of the ones over there because it's a lot bigger. <laughs> There's a lot more space over here. Because you guys, I think, were saying it'd be a nice idea to have a bigger bedroom downstairs. And then up here, we could turn these into uh, maybe the home office could sort of be up here or something like that. It's just because this bedroom is quite small. And honestly, there's not much we can do with it to make it bigger. It could be a spare bedroom, like a guest room or something like that. But there's just not a huge amount of space up there. So I think down here would be a good place for a bigger room. So I'm thinking, well, we have this here for like a chimney. I, I definitely want to put a chimney in here. I think I might flatten the wall out down here, to be honest. I'll put the chimney on this wall rather than in it. Because I feel like putting it in it up here, it, you know, we worked with it. But I think it looked nicer if it was on the wall there. So then this... I can, there could be, that could be like the whole bedroom. And then we could have like a walk-in wardrobe here. Doors to bedroom, walk-in wardrobe. Thing is we don't have a bathroom. Uh, could we fit a door under these stairs? Oh, really? We can't, we, as if we can't, we can fit a door under that. There's so much space. There's so much space. Come on. I reckon a sim could walk under that. Because like, then we could have the bathroom on this section and you sort of go you know, under the stairs. I mean, or that's the bathroom there. And then we just do a walk-in robe somewhere else. I mean, sure, we could just expand the basement to this entire lot, but we're trying to stick to the footprint of this house. That's kind of our little challenge. Uh, the other thing is we just cut out. I mean, I was thinking we could just cut out a bathroom here, but then I, I don't really want to make the room small. I want a nice big bedroom. The other thing is we do this and how could this work? Maybe this is the actual bedroom here then and then the walk-in robes over this side. Because then, yeah, then we could do this. Still have a big bedroom and then I, maybe, yeah, bathroom there so you get some natural natural light and then walk in rope here. That could work. What about that? Let, let's go with that for now. I'm not going to furnish any of it this episode anyway, but I'm going to work with this layout. I think that makes more sense anyway. Uh, speaking of the little fire escape kind of thing we we're doing, maybe I should add some more of those if this is the bedroom. <laughs> Probably a good idea. And maybe one over here too. Oh, we could go straight to the balcony. That's fun. <laughs> there you go. So look, look, it's kind of kind of realistic. You know, we got some fire escapes out of here if there's a bedroom. I mean, obviously these windows don't actually open, but we can pretend they do. Look, we're, we're on a fine line of realism and sim. Okay, who cares? <laughs> I care to a certain point. Okay, so what do we have on the agenda? Nothing right now. So let's pick out a new gig. I think, sure, we could do another 14,000. I'm going to assume that's in here. It is. But there's two of them, actually. But I think I want to do an old-fashioned little one. Let's have a look at... I want to do commercial, though. We haven't really done many of those. Let's have a look. Bathroom addition. Vet clinic renovation. Except it's with the Realm of Magic family for some reason. I don't know what vet clinic this is. Club renovation. Library renovation, gym, lounge, 
We turned to do club, cafe, bathroom addition. I wish it said what neighborhood these are in, so then we knew sort of where we're going. We could do a gym renovation. Pays a thousand. Let's do the gym with the goth family, apparently. <laughs> okay, so that's 9 a.m. Monday. Yes, yes, what do you want? What would you like? Lecture about barking, please. No barking. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck is this? Well, just because we go to work every day. <laughs> What? It's so rude. Did you need food? You got food out there here. Call to eat. Call Hagrid eat. How about that? There you go. Yeah, there. Eat. Now, these plants are out of season, right? Yeah. What are, how are these going? They're all fine. I guess we didn't really play last episode, so nothing's really progressed there. Uh, do I have any leftovers? I don't think I do. Okay. I'm going to have some pancakes for breakfast. Oh, is that the robot? Oh, Mr. <laughs> Dame Noir Vault. Yeah, that's the only surviving member of the university household right there. Oh, look at all these trees out here. So many lemons. All right, so I'm gonna have some pancakes and then we're gonna walk Hagrid after I've had some food too. Aw, gone to sleep. But yeah, we'll have some breakfast and then we'll, we'll take the dog for a walk now that we actually can. Oh my gosh, I have like no energy. That's all right. I, well, we'll go to the toilet after breakfast, then we'll walk the dog, then we'll go to sleep. Oh, one of the other suggestions was we could do like a home gym kind of thing. Oh yeah, I know we also have uh, this room here and you guys suggested we could vacuum in here because that would uh, vacuum this area. So, by the way, the way that the way the vacuuming works is it's per floor in the house. So uh, there was a lot of suggestions just to vacuum in the basement, but if you vacuum in the basement, it only does this level. Uh, whereas if you vacuum up here, that does only this level as well. But it means we could vacuum in the this area here in the garage and that would clean this level too. The thing is, it's not actually dusty. It was, I think it was just that one pile that we had. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, go on walk. Go, let's go for a... No, let's not go for a walk. Let's go for a long walk. All right, it's like your first walk ever. So, whoa, you changed. Oh, you have a little... Oh, I forgot they had collars and stuff. Yeah, let's go. Oh, no, is it going to... Oh, no, we're good. I was like, is it going to do that weird thing where they don't walk properly? But it seems fine now. It, it was a bit glitchy down those stairs. Let's go. Yeah. This is like exactly like walking Bowser. We always walk, we walk in front because he walks so slow. <laughs> a lot of dogs would be so excited going in front of you, but no, no. Bowser is just so lazy when he walks sometimes. Okay, is this it? This is also like Bowser. He's like, hmm, nah, <laughs> that's good. All right, let's go this way. <laughs> Ah, oh, birds! Get him, Hagrid! Command to chase birds. Bowser loves birds too. Hang on, if I if I stop this for a second. Get him, Hagrid! Go! <laughs> Get him! Yeah! Oh, yeah, a little slow, dude. Little slow. <laughs> Alright, let's uh wanna go for a jog. We'll jog home, maybe. Oh, Hatter is calling! Yes! Do you wanna go on a date uh, now at 9 40 a.m.? Uh I mean, I really do wanna go on a date with Hatter. But why do they always call it the worst time? I, I don't want to say no thanks. And I'd be like, yes, but later? I don't have energy and I'm walking my dog. She has to understand that I have other things in my life. I'll, we'll go on a date later, okay? Hang on. Can I can I get you to jog home? Yeah, there we go. But I think Hagrid's had a pretty good walk now. There you go. All right, let's get the mail. Uh, there we go. Got everything in the mail. Let's go have a sleep. Um, I'll just ask Hagrid to go to the toilet real quick. Just make sure you've gone and we can clean it up. There you go. Good boy. Okay, we don't need him off that. I'm gonna throw that away. Uh, I think Hagrid can kind of do his own thing. I'll just, um, yeah, I'll just let you do your own thing. Whatever, I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> See ya. Oh no, he just drank from his, oh. He just drank from his own puddle. Oh, he's going to sleep too. You, you don't have to go to sleep. You wake me up? What the heck? What the heck, dude? No waking me up. Sleeping. Oh, are you drinking from the toilet now? What is going on? <laughs> Stop. Again? What the heck? No, no begging. Can I like stop drinking from the toilet? I guess I guess I can only beg because maybe because you're stubborn. Please don't wake me, dude. Let me sleep. How are you worse than when you were a puppy? We became acquaintances. What the heck? Our relationship is worse now. This dog is rough. Okay, what's, let me just see. Is there anything actually wrong or are you just being annoying? Go, go eat. I don't know. Just here, yeah, eat. Stop barking at me. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to get up. Jeez. Take a shower. And then we'll call Hannah and see if she wants to go out. <laughs> Haggard, what the heck? Now uh, we're early acquaintances. Alright, uh, how do I... How do you do dates in this game? I, I don't do that. Oh, here we go. Ask on date. That's what I want to do. Yeah, we'll call her from the bathroom. That seems charming, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm going to assume that she said yes. <laughs> I don't know that she did. Uh, let's go... Oh, let, you know what? Let's go to Mount Komarevi. Let's go to this beautiful lounge that yours truly built in the official world. It's a great lounge, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I hope it's good. Oh, I, I didn't realize it'd be snowing quite so much here. Well, that's okay. Um, should we, should we catch up? 
and what's been going on. Ask about how's your day been going. Should we maybe go, let's go sit inside. Let's <laughs> attempt to swipe. Let's go sit together maybe. Let's go inside. It's, uh, oh, Candle. Wait, do I know Candle? Attempt introduction. Oh, that's so funny. He's, uh, because he's been an author and publishing books. He's like kind of a minor celebrity. So I have to attempt an introduction with him. Oh, Isaiah. Oh, hey, Isaiah's the entertainer. What is going on? Hang on, I got, well, hang on, Hannah. Sorry, I got to ditch you real quick. I got to meet the big wallets. Why are you the entertainer? You're a conservationist. Anyway, whatever. Um, I'll flatter you and brighten your day. That's all. All right, let's sweat. Oh, it's Chaz. I was like, who is that? No, why, why am I choosing his likes right now? All right, Hannah. I should probably go talk to you too, so. <laughs> All right, hang on, stop that. Let's go talk to Hannah. We're actually on a date with Hannah. We're supposed to be doing stuff. No, 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 stop dancing. Go talk to your date. I just have to meet the big wallets. Oh, candle. Yeah. All righty, here we go. Sit together. Okay, I don't know why these other three people are in my conversation, but sure. All righty, so sit and talk to my date, which I feel like we are doing. Let's talk about our dreams. I think this bar is pretty cool. Whoever built this did a fantastic job. Tell your date a story. Okay, well, this one time I decided it'd be a great idea to get a puppy chow chow and uh it loved me as a puppy and now it hates me it bears its teeth at me uh we're acquaintances it wakes me up all the time excuse me excuse me i am on a date right now can i throw my drink in your face how do i do that <laughs> like really go sit at the other table oh it's, it's the entertainer there he is are you telling jokes? What are you doing? Watch performance together. Let's go do that. Where are we going to sit on the couch? Oh, no, no, no. We're just going to stand here. All right. I, I thought we might like sit down or something. Let's sit together on this couch. Yeah, there you go. That, that's better. Now we can sit and watch. I still reckon this, this lounge is pretty cool. I love the little sunken area here with the, the stage and all that. I think it's cool. Anyway, enough about Isaiah. She, oh no, she doesn't look like she's having a great time at all. Oh, hey, look at me. I'm like kind of in between them. <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on? You, you having a good time? Yeah, you good? You guys good? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> um, all right, what do I have to do? Have your, have deep conversations. All right, I don't know that this, maybe we should go somewhere a little bit more private. Let's go over here. Let's go sit over here because th this section is the, the private area. This is like the lounge, the, you know, the comedy club area. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. Yeah, there we go. That's better, that's better. Oh no, oh no. What What is happening now? She's so excited and she's like, <sighs> oh gosh. Oh, that, th oh, is it the music? See, she likes the music. Okay, but well, I don't think she <laughs> Oh God. This date is going so bad. All right, let's 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 just try and, you know, let's be civil. Can we even have a deep conversation right now? I feel like we can't. Heartfelt compliment. I love your outfit. It looks beautiful. It wouldn't look better on anybody else. Make a move. Uh, probably not a good idea with her being very sad. So let's not do that. Let's, um, you know, ask about her career, what she does for a living. Ask about a day. Hopefully the, um, ah, here we go. Deep conversation. Okay, they just completely stopped talking. That's really awkward. I just clicked deep conversation. Why are we not talking? <laughs> they just like, they're like, so, um, yep, that's it. Okay. <laughs> right, a little deep conversation. Very nice. Very nice. Have another deep conversation. Man, she's really liking this uh, music. Okay. Uh, both seem to be flirty at the same time. Look, I'm not going to force her to be flirty. She's very sad. So we're just going to take it easy. Let's discuss the latest trends because that's all I talk about because <laughs> I just design houses every day. Uh, I'll try to cheer you up a little bit. That, that'll be nice. Let's do, let's talk about that. Let's see how you go. Ah, oh, I love orange. Orange is on, on trend. That is that is the color right now. Oh yeah, main, main thing done. Oh, it'll be okay. I know we came to the worst date location you could ever imagine, but you know what? Let's stand under here and get married. <laughs> Wait, can I say go here together? Chat here. Just, you'll feel fine. Just come over here with me. Like, I don't, I don't want to pressure you or anything, but let's just, like, it's just a nice place to stand. <laughs> All right. I mean, this music is pretty, pretty chill. Uh, she's happy now though. That is, she's happy. All right. Share, um, uh, <laughs> share single and loving it tips. Um, we're on a date right now. Let's maybe not talk about how much we love being single. <laughs> Probably not a good move. Let's ask about her hobbies. What do you like to do? Sentiment gained. You make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Aw, that's sweet. Likes cooking. Okay. I feel like we already knew that, to be honest, because we renovated your house, and I think that was one of the likes. Romantic interest. It's too early to tell, but there could definitely be something there. Closer from happy memories. Aw, isn't that sweet? All right, should we uh, <laughs> tickle mercilessly? That seems like the worst move. Let's um tell an engaging story, maybe, and then make a move? We could try. Uh oh, she's looking pretty angry. I don't think it's just a story. Uh oh, someone else has entered the ring. Another fighter has entered the ring. <laughs> I hate how they just. Where are these Sims? Oh, you. Oh, oh, really, guys? Oh, good. My bills. 
Oh my gosh. Why are my bills $4,000? They can't possibly be that expensive, right? Why are my bills so expensive? My house isn't that expensive. What the heck? All right, well, I'm gonna have to earn some money to pay those bills. Um, okay, well, I, I think you guys kind of killed the mood. <laughs> <laughs> Literally like three people over that is watching. Really guys? Uh, okay. Like, could you at least like not stare at us? Aww, isn't that sweet? Hmm, she's like, hmm, I kind of like it. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, hmm. She's like, nope. <laughs> nah, I think that went well. I just kind of wish it wasn't like five other people in this room right now. Or three other people, five people. So. Okay, I mean, things seem to be going well. Oh, is that it? Okay. <laughs> You're like, okay, let's move apart now. Now we speak of that again. Attempt a mistletoe kiss. <laughs> um, well, we've got, how much time do we have? 49 minutes. Well, might as well at least have a good night kiss, you know, to end the day. I mean, it was a great, it was a lovely date, except for the fact that all you guys are in this room watching and you're dancing in here, but that's cool. Well, I had a, uh oh, I, I misread the signals. Real bad. <laughs> I had a lovely date. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's awkward. Uh, I mean, she seemed positive about it. She was laughing. Ugh. Well, I mean, in her defense, there is two other people watching. So, uh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> I did think that was a little risky, I'm gonna be honest, but I thought maybe I could have gotten away with it. Uh, how do I, um, how do I, how do I like apologize about that? Uh, funny, I'll make a joke. That's what I'll do. Oh, I don't even have an option. Oh, cause, oh, cause I'm not like fully embarrassed. She's more embarrassed. Okay. All right, all right. Huh. Well, let me just brighten your day. Let's at least end off on a good note here. Because <laughs> that was rough. I felt compliment, you know, maybe a little. Maybe. No, let's not push the pickup line. Let's maybe leave it for today. She'll, she'll call us. She's got our number. She's got our number. <laughs> okay, well, she's leaving. So, well, uh, they might have messed that one up. Poor Hazel. Who the heck is this guy? You're on the punchlines currently gathering. Trent. Oh, my gosh. This guy is dying. Oh, my gosh. What are you guys doing out here? Why are you? I, I, <laughs> apparently, that was a nice date somehow. Um, uh, you guys are literally about to die out here, by the way. I don't know if you guys know that, but please don't die. Well, that was a date. Let's go. <laughs> this is what happens when I do gameplay, guys. This is why I should just be doing builds, dream home decorating. I feel like Hazel, she she means well, but you know, she's so involved in work. She's a bit of a workaholic, which isn't that actually one of her lifestyles? Yeah, she is a workaholic, you know. She doesn't really... She's not very good at socializing, I feel, you know? Let's, um, let's just forget that ever happened. <laughs> How do I, where's the brush option gone? I want to brush Hagrid. Actions? Uh, no. Pet, play, praise. Hmm. I don't seem to be able to brush you. Well, I'll pet you. Sure. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, I have four thousand dollar bills I have to pay, so I have to. I definitely have to go to work tomorrow, and we have to do well. All right, let me go to the toilet, and then we're gonna go to sleep. Oh yeah, you guys are saying apparently we can actually size down this bed, and it still works. Uh, well, this looks. Are you? What are you doing to my couch? Probably a little too small. We could probably do this size. I wonder if we could just move objects it and put it here. Would that still work? So I would like Hagrid to sleep in here too. I don't know if that works, but we'll find out. Let's see. Oh, it does. Oh, that's a way better size. I don't know why they're so big. Lovely. I don't know if Hazel can walk past. Oh, okay. You're up. You know what? Let's find out. Sit. Oh, go here. Uh, wait. No, it's saying she's stuck from the bed though. Hang on. Yeah? Oh. Well, whatever. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> what if I put it here? I don't know if Hagrid can still use it, but we'll find out. Can you get in there now? Okay, Hagrid can still use the bed, which is good, and I don't think she can get into that. Well, this is all the more reason we need to move downstairs anyway. All right, so it's a little uh, dusty, so if I say vacuum here, that should make that disappear, and Hagrid's drinking from the toilet. Okay, great. Let's see. Vacuuming. Hey, there it goes. Beautiful. Also, good to know that the fireplace has not set anything on fire. Okay, I lectured you about drinking from the toilet. Oh, wait, I just said to not drink you are the most stubborn dog <laughs> i was like don't drink from the toilet don't do it again okay boop, boop. okay i also feel like i should have taken off your uh, collar when we got back how do i take off your outfit oh change outfit there we go all right so line not to drink from the toilet that's good all right i'm gonna have some breakfast um i also feel like i should send hannah a message i'll send a text be like yeah sorry about that um misread the signals you know there's a lot of people there oh you want to play fetch Okay, well, let me have my breakfast first and then we'll, let me just get to the fireplace. Ah, oh, spring, yeah. yeah, 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 hang on one sec. Okay, I'm done eating now. Let's go, 
Train fetch. I think we have to go outside for that though, don't we? Surely. Wait, what? You... Oh, okay. You're just gonna throw it through the living room. Is that is that really the best way to do it? <laughs> I mean, I guess whatever works. And ready, set. Here we go. Fetch. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's so good. There you go. Maybe we'll be friends again. This is going really well. Did it? Did I send a text to Hannah? I feel like oh, I don't know. Hey, we became friends. There you go. See, it isn't so bad. Don't worry. I'll get the plate. Should we? Um, let's take Hagrid for a walk. Go for a jog real quick. Oh, I probably should have gone earlier. It's nearly nine o'clock. That's all right. We'll go for a quick jog before work. Look at this. We're having such a wholesome home life. We even got a dating life now. It's pretty exciting. Okay, we have to, we actually have to go home now. So <laughs> we actually have to go back now because I got to go to work. I'll give you a quick brush though. Here you go. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's lovely. Oh, you need to go to the toilet. Well, I got to go. So I think you got, wait. Oh wait, work's not till Monday. Oh my gosh. This is so far away. I thought it was today. All right, never mind. Well, I'm going to I guess fast forward till tomorrow because I want to do I need to do this renovation. I have no money to pay the bills. There you go, potty. There you go. Ah, I learned to pee outside. Fantastic. And I'm, it doesn't let me mop up the stuff outside, which is kind of annoying because I feel like Hagrid's about to drink from it. Uh oh. I think we just got some dust. Oh, is it downstairs? Dust? I heard the dust sound effect. Oh, yeah, we have dust. Oh, yeah, we have got dust. Does Hagrid know how to get through? Oh, is this? Wait, no, this door's not locked. Do you know how to get inside or are you just having fun out there? Hang on. Come in. Hmm. Wait, maybe you can't. Lock door. Hang on. Let me lock for everyone but Hazel and then just unlock. Is it just. I feel like you can't get inside. I don't know. Hang on. Can you come to me? Okay, you come to me here. And then if I go here, can you come here? Oh, you can. Oh, is this door locked? Oh, I, I think I locked my... <laughs> I think I locked that because that's where I put all my stolen goods. Right. Okay. You know what would be cute? The world's largest dog door. <laughs> I don't think you can use this one, so I'll have to put this one in. Lock door for everyone, you know, for all pets. And then, so if I go here now, oh, Hannah, if I want to go to her house and hang out. Uh, yeah, I think I do. I just want to test the dog door real quick. Oh, it works. Yes. All right. Okay. I'm going to do it. I think we need to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> the other night. Also, I really needed to do this renovation. So we'll go see Hannah just a short while. Then I'm going to skip forward till tomorrow. All right, Hannah. And I like friendly compliment outfit. And then let's have a... Well, yeah, it's like, you look good today. You look good. And then let's have a deep conversation about uh, my, my accidental misreading of the... Oh, she's a perfectionist. Okay. Sorry about my misreading of the situation the other day. Um, yeah, it was pretty rough. Let's, uh, let's, let's just have a quick little... Have a quick little cloud. Get oh, okay, she left me. All right, well, see. Yeah. All right, well, we had a good chat. Um, who's this? Sim Sessions is happening right now. No, I'm going to get copyright claimed if I go there. Yeah, yeah, I've already, it's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, I'm going to um, go ahead and jump forward till tomorrow so we can get this renovation done. Oh my gosh, Hannah. Okay, now she's becoming clingy. I was just at your house. No, I'm sorry. I do want to go on a date. I do, but I also need to earn money to pay these bills. Oh, my plants are growing now that it's spring. Yeah. I was out here teaching Harry to do fetch again. Yeah, I gotta care for my plants too. Yeah, he's learned how to fetch. Sweet. Should we try some, um, let's try sit. Yeah, level two pet training. Can now teach her dog to heal, shake, and play dead. Cool. Uh oh. My power's gone off. Yeah, well, look, I thought today I was working and I was going to have the money for it. Actually, you know, quite frankly, are we going to have enough money from doing this renovation? Because I think it only paid like $1,000. So we might not even have enough after this renovation. Oh my gosh, that fireplace looks so nice with the glow without the power. At least we, have, at least we still have heat. Oh, maybe. Is that what my bill was from? Because we have the thermostat set the warmer. Is that why my bill was so high? I didn't realize, like, I knew it added value to it, but I didn't think it was that much. All right, let's go to tomato wrapped veggie burrito. What's happening? Why, why don't you stop? Continue, please. You're hungry. She just, like, stopped randomly. Okay, resume, please. Can you finish cooking? What's happening? I assumed that this was an option that didn't require cooking, but I, I guess it does because she's not doing it. Like, I know we don't have power, but I guess the game when I chose to cook something, didn't realize that maybe? I don't know. And right, I'll have a quick meal then. I'll just have cereal because apparently she doesn't know how to finish that. All right, well, let's go to bed. Uh, we're going to go to work in a few hours, hopefully. And ho oh, why am I awake? Did you wake me up? Oh, oh, wait, no. Am I just admiring decor? I think I'm admiring my decor. Okay, great. Yeah, cool. Great. That, that was worth getting up at 2 a.m. for. All right, it is 4 a.m. My needs are like perfect. Let's take a hag for a morning jog because we got to do it before we go to work. Otherwise, we won't have time. Hey, level three of the fitness skill. Sweet. All right, well, it looks like we're heading back now. Oh, no, 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 no. Head back. Come on. I know it's only 6 a.m., but we should probably head back now. No, 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 no. Stop. That's enough. <laughs> All right, ask to go potty real quick. You know, do your morning business. There you go. And cool. Let's throw that away. Oh, I guess I have to pick it up and then maybe throw it away. Throw it away. Yeah, I have to be on the lot to be able to do that. 
All right, let's go have a quick shower after uh, that that exercise. Well, that, that exercise, that workout. All right, let's go to work. All right, pectoral fitness. Now, oh, okay, good. I was like, I was like, no one showed up. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. No, no, we're good. We're good. Uh, just a regular introduction, please. No flirty introductions. This is a place of business. I am a professional. Yeah. All righty. Tatiana Goth. Who, who is Tatiana Goth? I didn't even know that was a sim that existed. <laughs> okay. Uh, interior decorator. All right. Ask to see your inspirations, please. Thank you. All right. You like Queen Anne decor. Cool. Insult days and decor. It sucks, dude. All right, and you also like painting and dancing. Okay, dancing we could work with. We could do like a dance room. That's actually kind of fun. A blue dance room. All right, cool. I think we could do this. All right, you can leave. Thank you. Now, what are we... Well, first of all, what is the actual... It says gym renovation. It doesn't say anything other than that. Does that mean I can do anything? Are you going to send them away? Because that's a... Um... What? No, no, send the client away. Why are they still here? Where have my decorator options gone? Oh, okay, there they go. It's because they were leaving. <laughs> All right, so where, where are we renovating? What's the thing? Restricted to ground floor. Uh, all right, well, we... Huh, okay. Uh, can I remove a pool? No, right, okay. Uh, well, we could just remove one of the changing rooms. I feel like you don't really need two changing rooms. So maybe we build like a dance studio in one of these. We could actually, this whole hallway here is kind of useless because I mean, there is an entrance on both sides, but I don't think we need an entrance on three sides of this building, particularly on this side where there's not much going on. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and remove these, remove this door, put a window there, patch up the wall. Oh, you know what? Before I do any of this, maybe I should uh, <laughs> do the before photos. Like I always forget. Oh, there's my renovations done. <laughs> okay. Take before photo. Let's go over here and do that. All right. So I really wish I, was, I could move the camera further away because I need to get a photo of this. So we're going to change this area. And then this room, this is going to be a room. This is going to be a, like, I'll obviously be wider than this, but so this hallway is going to change into part of the room. And then maybe here as well. And then I'm going to go this way like that. Okay. So remove, remove, extend, remove this little half wall there. Copy a hedge, put it here, put a new window in. All right, cool. So we patched up that side. Probably don't need that sign there anymore either. In fact, all this flooring here, I'm going to actually remove. We'll keep this bit here. Alrighty, so then we're going to remove this and this coat rack and put a wall right here. Get rid of this stuff all in. Whoops. All right, so that's going to close in there. I'm actually going to slide this to that wall there. So yeah, this is like the main gym entrance there. So I guess uh, the entrance to this dance studio will be still through like a door here. We'll probably do double doors there somewhere, but that is fine. I'm just going to build it in the same style of the existing structure. Oh, I think, hang on. Whoops. I just moved. No, let me just, I'm just going to make sure I delete everything properly. Okay, now we can just clear out all the walls, get them all out of the way. Cool. All right, so we've got the space. Let's get rid of that light. This floor flooring as well. I think I'll use maybe this flooring here that we've got coming through the place. Just like that. The walls can just be all this wood paneling, I suppose. So it's a very, very blank canvas right now. Let's go ahead and get some lights in here so we can see what we're doing. Fantastic. This is the new dance studio. Look at this. Beautiful. I'm gonna get this door over here. So that's the entrance. Now, any good dance studio, and I would know because clearly I'm a big dancer, is going to need a wall filled with mirrors, potentially multiple walls filled with mirrors. <laughs> so let's go that wall. Whoops, that wall there with mirrors. Very nice. Now, I don't think, well, was it The Sims 2 or The Sims 3? They had like a sweet like ballet bar that, that sort of hangs on the wall. That was really cool. Obviously, we don't have that. I was hoping by searching bar I'd find it. But there is a wall decoration, I believe. It's not a rounded handrail but it's like that um this thing the chrome wall panel we could use this obviously not ideal i know but i think it's our best option unless there is another thing i'll just check no nah, that's probably good so we'll do that so we have that and then of course we'll actually get some dancing related stuff we need some like jazzercise i mean what's new disco oh yeah okay this is what we're gonna use hopefully it doesn't copyright claim me while i play it for this few seconds Okay, that's definitely the music we can have in here. <laughs> I'm gonna have that pumping in this room. I feel like maybe we do like a stage over this side. So like the class uh, instructor can go here. Okay, I didn't really want to just demolish the whole wall, but that's right, I'll put it back. Okay, I haven't forgotten the color thing as well. I know I know, blue was in the, uh, the agenda, so I'll have a look at that in a second. All right, so I have this little thing here and then have the separate dancing thing. Over there. Okay, so well, dancing wise, um, do we have like, <laughs> there's a DJ booth up here. 
I mean, we could. I do quite like these. Like, I feel like this makes sense, but I don't want it actually playing in music though. We definitely actually need dance floors too. Maybe on this back section, we can have those two. And then I'm gonna use, I know there's the actual yoga mats, but it's not supposed to be, whoa, what is this? Oh, it's an instructor one. Oh, we can have an actual yoga studio. But this is a dance studio, so no. But yeah, I was gonna say, I know there's actually the yoga mats that we could use, like, and put these all in the room, but I don't really want them getting in the way, so I was just gonna use these. Now, although having said that, I just said we're not doing a yoga studio, and that's kind of, not just for yoga, but you wouldn't, I don't think you'd have this in a dance studio. No, you wouldn't. Okay, let's get rid of that. Um, we want more dance floors. Like, should we have more? Like, should there be more dance floor in here? There should probably just be one, otherwise I feel like the Sims are gonna get confused and they'll probably do silly things, so... Let's just do one dance floor. <laughs> Otherwise, I think it's gonna get messed up a bit. We'll have that in the middle, maybe. And then the instructor can go up here. Or maybe we could have like a sweet karaoke thing. No, maybe not. I get more mirrors though, up on this side. A couple more little handrail things. All right, so as for Queen Anne Daco, what could we even put in this room? Hmm. Could have like a little table here. Maybe they have stuff that they put on it. Make it blue. There you go. I just don't really know. There's not a whole lot that we really need to put in a dance studio. Oh, we could have some cool artwork maybe. Put some of these on the wall. I mean, obviously it's kind of more jazz themed. I mean, it's definitely more jazz themed than... I mean, maybe they have jazz classes in here. I don't know. Maybe there should be more speakers. Really pump that music. And you know what? I do want these. So I'm going to get these in as well. <laughs> this is a real performance up here. I have no idea what's actually going to happen with this whole thing. Like... <laughs> Like what Sims are actually gonna do in this room. But I wanna get a microphone as well. Can I use this one? Ah, oh, I have to unlock it. Yeah, use this one then. I have a microphone for the instructor that they could pick up. Actually, I'll put it over here with the uh, little table so they could. That is if they pick it up and I mean, they'd probably have a headset. But, you know, it's just decorative, it's decorative, okay? All right, blue. I don't know why I clicked on blue, that's unnecessary. Likes painting, blue painting. Wait, do these have blue? Oh, is the, that's pretty good. Little music thing. Oh, we could use like this. Oh, it doesn't really make much sense though, does it? <laughs> it? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Blue and painting. Okay, okay. No, it doesn't make much sense. What about, is there any blue like blinds we could put on this room? Yeah, why don't we have like some curtains at either end so that they could, uh, we could like pull them across if you wanted or whatever. Get some blue in there. I mean, we have, <laughs> we have $12,000 left because I deleted half. I mean, there's nothing else I need to do in here. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. It's pretty epic. Yeah, here's the music. Let's go. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, let's get away from that before it copyrights me. All right, let's take the after photos. All right, so we definitely had one out here. Oh, there's a weird overhang up there. That's all right. So that's the new side. And I took one around here somewhere. Well, I took two from this angle. Didn't, didn't I take like one here and one here? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I'm actually going to swap it around. So I'm going to take one this way of the stage. Uh, and I think I had one this way, didn't I? Yeah. And we'll have one here at the dance floor and the mirrors. Okay, that, that should do. That should do. Okie dokie. Now we say call the client to lot before and after before and after. Yeah, this one's a little bit of a sneaky one because there's a completely different angle and a different spot, but who cares? Before and after and before and after. Alrighty, let's hope that this all goes well. We got a beautiful new dance studio in here. I can show off my moves, I can dance. Yes, reveal event. Here we go. All right, reveal renovations to client. You like dancing, you like Queen Anne, you like blue and you like painting. You're gonna like this. Actually, I, I don't know if those count as... Oh, oh, she's covering her eyes. It actually worked. Wow. Also, these stairs don't seem very safe. There's no railing on the- Oh wait, where are we going? Guys, 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 we're gonna go inside. No, 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 we have to go in the building. Oh boy. Oh yes, it works, here we go. Before, no entrance, all gone. That's right. Okay, random hallway to nowhere. Dance studio. That is good, that is good. Okay, bathroom wall, platform and dance instructor stage. All right, random showers and dance floor. Look at that, beautiful. Definitely one of my more uh, simple renovations. All right, can we check this out? Hang on, let me go show you this blue curtain. <laughs> I like how she waited out there and I ran all the way inside. I was like, hey, come check this out, here it is. And uh, check out this, check out this. This is like a Queen Anne and it's blue. Okay, can I mute this? Cause I, I need to, uh... oh, I didn't put a painting in yet. She likes painting too. Yeah, can I show her this? Oh, I can't. All right, let me just turn object music off cause I don't want to get <laughs> covered clean for that. All right, yeah, check this out. Did you, did you see that? Did you see the table? Check out this, this is for dancing. Check this 
this out and check out the speakers. It's epic. <laughs> uh, fight. Uh, order her to clean. What the heck? Let's talk about cooking. Yeah, that, that seems relevant right now. So cooking's pretty cool. Uh, I love cooking. What about you? I'll brighten your day a little bit. Talk to a client. Heartfelt compliment. You know, you got a really good gym here. Uh, we could have some sweet guitar solos in this room too if you wanted. Could also turn this into a functions room. You know, you could host lots of things in here. You could have conferences. Um, really versatile space. Alrighty, let's see. Will I get my payday for this? Because I, I'm going to need some money for this. Because I, I have bills. They're pretty rough. So, um, oh, yeah. you really made all my dreams come true by selling all my stuff. Uh, destroying half of the bathrooms and change rooms we have. You've really made a big difference. <laughs> well, whatever works. $1,200. Fantastic. Let's go home. Oh, my hair is hanging down. <laughs> All right. So be it. Okay. Do we have enough money to pay these bills? Because I have uh, I have a feeling we don't. Oh my gosh, we do just. Man, I got to turn that thermostat off. <laughs> Damn, I have $200 left. That's rough. Oh, Hagrid came to greet me. That's so cute. Hug. Hey, Hagrid. We had a, we had a good time today, you know? Um, okay, well, I need to turn that thermostat off because it is costing me too much money. <laughs> Let's go turn that off. Oh, yeah, we became good friends. There we go. All right, turn that, turn that thing off. We, we have a fireplace. Why do I even need a thermostat? I mean, if it gets hot, it'd be nice to cool the place down. But on that note, I'm going to leave this part of Dream Home Decorator here. This is definitely, it was fun. It was fun to explore Hazel's life outside of Dream Home Decorations. And also to raise Hagrid a little bit. That was fun. But next time, we need to earn more money. Because we just spent it all on the bills. So I think we'll do, I hope that, maybe we'll try and do a couple renovations next episode. I didn't realize I was going to, we we'll have to wait two days before we could do the next renovation when I took that. I probably should have checked the day of the week. That's my bad. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.